Hey guys, Ryan here again. Uh, this video is specifically for people who have e-commerce websites. So this is not a video just for Amazon sellers this time. So I'm trying something a little bit uh, different for the YouTube channel. The topic today is essential e-commerce abandoned cart reminders. And this is for anyone who has an e-commerce store. These are really key high ROI um, items that you should have um, on autopilot in your store. When somebody comes to your store, they start the checkout process and they don't finish it. Um, I have a couple different things that I use to automatically follow up and make sure that we're reminding these people to complete the checkout process without annoying them. And I use two particular things to do that. I use email and I use SMS, SMS being like text messaging, right? And text messaging is extremely effective. The trick is you have to do it in a way that it's not annoying and you have to set up some things in your Shopify um, or your e-commerce system to collect um, the phone number at the right time. So I'm just gonna cover what these reminders are and it's gonna be very quick, just a couple slides. So I consider these like foundational must have things in every e-commerce store. So I wanted to cover this on my YouTube channel. I also have other emails that I send out that aren't abandoned cart emails. Uh, that you know get people to come back to my store educate them on other products i'm not going to cover that probably on my youtube channel i'm just going to cover these because i want you guys to get a quick win i'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible so that you guys can just go in uh, tap a couple buttons and hopefully get an roi on your time here okay so the tools that i use i use clavio which is a crm customer relationship manager software and it's basically an email autoresponder that has all your customers' information, how much they spend, their name, their address, their phone number. Clavio is really cool because it can email and it can also text message people. Um, the other tool that you can use if you don't have a CRM that can automatically uh, send text messages is you can use SMS Bump. And to be perfectly honest with you, I use SMS Bump and I use Clavio. Even though Clavio has text messaging built in, I just don't find that it's consistently firing the text messages when people abandon their carts and SMS bump does. Uh, so SMS bump is something I still use. The fee is pretty low and it, I got a pretty immediate ROI on using SMS bump. You can see here um, just within a week of having this on, I actually earned you know several hundred dollars in abandoned carts. And that's pretty, that's pretty substantial. That pays for the monthly fee that I um, incur to have that. The text messages that you send out through SMS Bump, I think they're just like a couple cents per text. I loaded up my account with just like $40 and I've been sending tons of texts and it's not even close to being depleted yet. So very affordable and very effective. So with that said, let's go over exactly what these methods are. So this is just my opinion. There's a lot of ways to do this. Um, you could be more aggressive. You could be less aggressive. What I find is a good balance is to have at least two email follow-ups. You can extend this out for weeks and weeks if you want, but the two email follow-ups are just intended to remind and then provide some scarcity so people want to come back and complete their transaction. I also have two SMS follow-ups. You don't want to go over two in my opinion because uh, you're going to probably have some customers that are very angry with you if you're spamming their text inbox all the time. Um, so I'm going to go over when these go out and what they look like. So this is the Clavio flow editor. Um, in Clavio, when you create automations, automated campaigns, they allow you to set triggers, filters, times when things go out. Uh, gives you a really good top-down view of when things are gonna go and who they're gonna go to. So you can see here, the trigger here is people who have started their checkout and have placed an order zero times since starting the flow and people who have been, have been in the flow have not been in the flow in the last three days. So what does this mean? This means that somebody has gone to your Shopify site um, or your e-commerce site. They have entered all their information for the checkout. They did not place an order at any point. So if they ever place an order, they're gonna get kicked out of this flow. And the other thing that it's gonna check is they have not been in this flow in the last three days because you don't want them to just be coming back, say every 30 minutes to do the checkout. Maybe they're bouncing back and forth in between um, their job, their home life, maybe they have a kid and they can't finish the checkout for whatever reason. You don't want to just keep sending emails and emails and emails to them that are the same thing. So I just set it as a three day, like if they're, if they've been there in the last three days, like don't start them again. Okay. And basically what it looks like is when somebody starts their checkout, it's going to wait five minutes 
and then it's just going to send them um, it's going to send them an email that says you were so close and the template's very simple it's just going to say like here's um, how you complete your checkout and it's going to show them what they were checking out the other timing is i wait another day and then i say we're about to pull your items out of your cart make sure you go finish it now if you want it to ship so let's look at the, what these templates look like okay the one that goes out after five minutes this is basically what it is looks like you left some great products behind in your cart We've put them on hold for you, so you can grab a payment method of choice and complete your checkout. And then it just dynamically inserts what they were checking out using Clavio's templates. And I just have a simple email template that allows them to um, navigate my site, etc. That's basically it. Nothing complicated, right? The second email, one day after checkout, basically the same thing. And it says, we reserved your items for you for the, la for the next 24 hours, so hurry before it's too late. Follow this link. Just gets them to go back again. If you wanted to be more aggressive with your second follow-up or your third follow-up, you could put a time scarcity discount code, like say a 10% off code. If you use this code in the next 24 hours, this will work. If you don't, the code's not valid anymore. I don't like to do too many of those, um, but I do use those in my, my SMS campaigns. I'm gonna show you what I mean. And that's basically it for, for the emails. You can send more emails. I do have more emails in my abandoned cart flow that get people to check out other items in my store hopefully to increase cart value before they check out just kind of get them browsing around getting hit with my retargeting ads um, you can extend this out as long as you want the beauty about email is you can really you know take your email campaigns out for weeks and weeks and weeks and you're not really going to have any negative repercussions for that unless it's like excessive spam but if it's just like every day or so every two days and you're not spamming you're just trying to give them helpful information to get them to come back you're probably not going to get added to the spam filter and it's more likely than not you're going to get a sale eventually if that person was actually interested in your store so um, it, it is a pretty good use of your time to build out more campaigns in this but this is the bare minimum first email and then a second email to remind them to come back the next thing sms setup so our abandoned cart um, sms opt-in is collected just before checkout and there are some legal requirements to do this. You have to add language to the checkout that says, we're going to text message you basically with offers. You can opt out whenever you want. There is specific language and requirements that SMS Bump actually will help you put on your checkouts on your Shopify site. And I'm gonna actually include a link in the uh, description to this video. So if you're going to add this, make sure you do the legal compliance or you could be breaking some text messaging spam laws which i don't want to teach you how to do um, the other trick that i found really useful is to make phone numbers mandatory in your checkout settings so if somebody's checking out uh, make it so they have to provide their phone number or they cannot complete the checkout process i didn't find that it had a negative impact on conversions it actually had a positive impact because we're getting more abandoned carts to come back so that's a setting that's really easy to change um, here's basically what these text messages look like in SMS bump five minutes after the checkout started and they have not placed an order you know we just say hey first name is inserted from their checkout details that they've provided uh, we noticed that there were a few items it's gonna actually pull how many items the actual number so it's gonna say like we noticed you had three items in your cart um, for our store we saved your cart here's the link um, here's how you stop if you don't want to get um, message by us anymore and this works pretty well. If that doesn't work, we have a second one that goes out three days later. Um, you know, hey, first name, did you forget something? Use code, discount code to get 10% off, today only, checkout link. And very simple, to the point, just to get them to come back, give them a little bit of incentive. Um, today only, time scarcity. So I find that the SMS follow-ups are way more effective than the email, actually. So. Uh, to be honest if you're going to do either either or if you're going to do the email or the sms if you want the one that gets the most checkouts to complete do the sms that's the one that's most effective so that's basically the strategy um, i'm going to have follow-up trainings to this in my brand boost blueprint program this is just sort of like my public video for people that are watching my youtube channel and also it's going to be available um, inside of my program if you want more follow-up questions on this, you can comment in the YouTube, or if you want to speak with me directly, 
course, anyone in my program, you, know, you can talk with me and we can strategize uh, when we meet. So hope this was helpful, guys. And again, check the links in the descriptions for all of the tools that I've mentioned in this. Um, this will recover a lot of carts for you. And if you don't have this and you're selling online on your own store, you definitely should look into this. So I'll see you guys next time.